though Ubisoft is getting real humble tonight by gamers. I mean, what else can I say, man? Just the other day, they did say that gamers are toxic. And today, well, folks, it is it is a war zone right now. I know some of you guys are sitting back and enjoying the show right now. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because, of course, they have turned the BBC samurai into a, a gay samurai as well. Yeah, that is true. Apparently, they did that. They only have this one black guy in the game, and they make him gay as well. Stereotype the living crap out of him. And, and everybody's, like, now waking up and seeing what's going on. Like, look at that. So, everybody's, like, all the Japanese homies are, like, okay, let me actually bow down to you. You, and then it's like he just goes crazy he bo he goes bozo and you want to know who else went bozo today the gamers ladies and gentlemen yay so the gamers are not stopping 60,000 okay we got the Japanese homies are talking about it yeah finally you got Japanese people making videos too bro oh, yeah I gotta play you this clip as well but first of all check this out roll it this change.org petition for Assassin's Creed Shadows to be canceled is really picking up steam it was only around 13,000 signatures two or three days ago. I, I believe it, it was around there. I'm not sure on what the exact number was, but yeah, it was nowhere near 58,000, and yep. it's picking up steam. It's very important that you let Japanese people sign this. There was originally yeah, videos agree, of top agree, supporters agree. on here. I think they must have taken that off, and that was a smart move because the top supporters were people from America. <laughs> yeah. Or at least... <laughs> yeah, man. The, uh, man listen, man. The, 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 the actual rumor, the actual stereotype is that America gets their schlongs involved in everybody's matter. That actually came true this time, too, man. Listen. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm in Canada, but, like, North America. Like, duh. Like, North America, North America gets their schlongs involved in everybody's matter. Like, brother, brother, come on, man. Let the Japanese homies do the talking, and they are indeed doing the talking, which I will actually actually show you in, in, a, in a second okay some western country i'm not sure where they're from 100 percent, but that makes this petition not as effective it needs to be people from, from japan. japan absolutely because that's what matters here because this is their culture and, and we also need the black homies as well guys listen man they are being insanely disrespectful to both sides man it's not just about uh they're being disrespectful disrespectful to japan of course they are absolutely this is why there's this much fuss about it this is why the petitions are going crazy uh finally you got some japanese homies uh, making videos as well uh but also th this is insanely equally if not more disrespectful to the black homies as well they're stereotyping the living crap out of him and the only black character that they they have put in the game they of course had to make him gay as well like what are we talking about bro are you saying that every black uh, person is gay like come on man and, and we're and more so than that we talked about it because it's true we're talking about yasuke right he's a real person he was a real person back then retainer samurai i'm not even sure who what he was because uh, you know history is being changed on wikipedia everybody's like uh, installing twitter finger pro and trying to change the history it's like well, what, what are we doing man that is absolutely petty okay <laughs> That is petty behavior. People are changing history on Wikipedia. Everybody's fighting. So, Retainer Samurai, I'm not even talking about it. But uh, minus that, of course, he was a real person. And and they have took a real person and made him gay. Imagine the real Yasuke sitting in heaven right now looking at Ubisoft like crazy. It's like you doing something good. I said it before. Uh, you, you doing something amazing in your career that warrants maybe them make, writing a book on you making making a game on you and ubisoft is like yes we're gonna make a game on you and you know you you are in heaven you're like see like one day i, I told mama man they will make a game on me they will write about me they will talk about me and it's ubisoft right it's ubisoft and the first thing they do they make you gay in the game <laughs> You cannot come down here and defend yourself. The same is happening with Yasuke right now, guys. Like, it is insane, bro. It's getting desecrated by Ubisoft. And I'm glad to see them coming in here and signing it. A lot of new people talking on here. Yeah. And I like seeing this. Not a lot of Western people from what I've seen so far. And that is good. That is it good. It needs good. to be Japanese people for it to be effective. Yeah. And Ubisoft the media is covering to be humbled. it. A couple articles out there from video game people. Or blockers you know they like to call themselves journalists but they're not really let's be let's be frank uh they don't like this petition because they're out there trying to call people istophobes for not liking this game and you have people from the country it's supposed to be from mocking it saying they don't like it uh, they're getting disrespected they're getting yeah. 
called far right racist. That's what's <laughs> happening right now. Look at this. I don't know who this guy is, but he's out here saying a far right Japanese YouTube channel with connections to Grums, <laughs> Smash, and Vera finally got 10k signatures to try and convince Ubisoft to cancel their Assassin's Creed Shadows game. But do you see what he did here? Say, like, oh, it's a far right yeah. Japanese YouTube channel. Well, that just dismisses <laughs> it then, doesn't it? And we don't even no. know who this guy is. Uh, we don't know what his politics are. The guy's Japanese. Yeah. But doesn't matter. They're going to call him an istifo. That's because that's how they take care of all of the conversations that go against their... Yeah, this is like a full-blown Japanese homies. I, I believe he was talking in Japanese as well and uh, saying that he didn't like... He does not like what what is going on in the game. And listen, everybody has the right to uh, not like a particular product for whatever reason they have. Or, or like it as well. Yeah, uh, some people are going to like it. And if you like it, go for it. Right? It's not even about that. If you don't like it, yeah, don't buy it. And everybody has the right to like a product or not like a product. Guys, money does not grow on trees. And and more so than that, it's not even about the money uh, 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 this time. It's about, like, uh, people just caring about their history. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, tough luck, man. Uh, tough love, man. Some people do like their history more so than money, bro. Like, some people do like uh, their, their culture, right? Some people do appreciate their culture. And right now, Ubisoft is just dunking on everybody. They're just pissing on everybody's head. And they're saying that no, bro, don't look up, don't look up. It's just the rain, brother. It's just the, it's just the rain, brother. It's just the rain. Don't look up, don't look up, right? Oh, you don't like it? Oh, you do not like getting pissed on? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Why you don't like it though? Yeah, that's what they're doing right now. Huh? Thank you. Grums advertised it. Oh no. So it's effective, and people are out there trying to smear the people now, and it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to calm down Japanese people over this game. You're not going to be able to scare them away. They're already out there. There's more videos now. Uh, particularly this one is yeah. really good. And he speaks English. Now, not no disrespect to anybody that speaks in Japanese in their videos. It's from Japan. I just can't follow them as easy <laughs> because sometimes the uh, AI-made subtitles just aren't that good. Mm. But I was able to watch this one, and it was pretty effective. Yeah, I, yeah. Let, let me just play you a little bit off. I'm uh, pretty pissed, and I really can't believe this is happening. Yeah, bro. And I really Let can't along, believe bro. people don't see these things, you know? I've been a fan of Assassin's Creed. I really loved Assassin's Creed 2, and Assassin's Creed Origin is one of my best video games I've ever played. Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Black Flag is uh, the, the one that I uh, remember playing, actually. It's amazing. And I was dreaming one and day I it. Ubisoft make Assassin's Creed set in Japan. Because Ninja is an amazing subject for Assassin's Creed. Because Ninja is assassin and also spy. So it's gonna be mm. good. I was mm -hmm. hoping uh, Ubisoft, they would do a lot of intense this research, or even they hire some Japanese team, like a lot of Japanese group of people, work with them to have yeah. historical accuracy. It's a responsibility, you know? It's, you gotta do. And I, I was agree. believing they would I agree. do. But really? So Ubisoft announced new Assassin's Creed series, Assassin's Creed Shadow, set in J Japan. <laughs> it's not Japan. <laughs> And, and yeah. the main character is not Japanese. But wait, I need to mention, I need to mention, we Japanese are not angry about non-Japanese main character, okay? Yeah, it's and not And we are not mad about the, the idea of bringing LGBTQ to okay. Okay. the video okay. game. I think we are more welcome that. We want to see more like okay. a diversity, the real okay. diversity, okay? Ubisoft, what you're doing is the fake hypocritical diversity, okay? And what you're doing, Ubisoft, in First your new DEI, racist, right? video game called Assassin's Creed Shadow is just your arrogant. Arrogant. I don't know where to start. We are mad about your arrogance. And you keep saying that historically correct or historically like following the kind of stuff. That's the shut up, <laughs> really. And I was not mad about your response. Okay. Japanese started raising voice about oh my oh my god, Japanese is really kind. We used to be chill sometimes, which is very bad actually, but we were chill. But yeah, bro, like sometimes uh, you don't want to be chill, though. This is what happens. Like, they, I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure Ubisoft is like, oh, they're going to not even talk about it, bro. It's fine, though. We can just dunk on them. Like, it's going to be fine. Nobody's going to talk about it. It's just going to go under their radar, under their noses. And yeah, I mean, uh, tough luck, man. Tough love, eh? They actually fired back. They fired back. And now uh, some articles are talking about it. Screen Rent is talking about it. Yeah, these articles or these uh, outlets would never have talked about it. 
now it's really getting big right right now like everybody's covering it so they they have no choice like it, it's a big gaming news though they neglected for like what a couple of weeks right now they haven't talked about it but now they they have to because uh it, it's uh becoming like a fireball right now this you cross the line let's watch this one of most ridiculous arrogance hypocritical interview i ever seen Woo! <laughs> Okay. The story that we're telling is historical fiction. Um, so what is historical fiction? History and, and what we know uh, of the history. You don't know anything. Uh, and then I think it kind of like uh, as a palette uh, where the then the story that, that we write uh, based on, on these events and what is known and needs to fit within that palette. So we can Aye. bring uh, stuff from outside. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They're using historical paint. So main character, Yasuke. There's a not any evidence that Yasuke was a samurai. There's a no paint saying no. Yasuke. Oh my god! Oh my Bro. god! No! 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 What? 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 It was samurai. And also, go, let's go to Wikipedia. Okay. This is so wrong. Yasuke was a man of African origin who served as samurai. Let's go to Japanese one, okay? It's Japanese history, okay? Trust the Japanese one, Japanese Wikipedia. There's a no single word saying samurai. And there's no evidence. That where's the source? Where's this under discussion? Under discussion, just please someone delete this. Okay, look, look. So this is 100% wrong, Sabra samurai, no, no. In fact, in fact. Okay, Hono Jin student. Do you know samurai? After they're defeated, they yeah. commit seppuku, which is harakiri, meaning okay. they unlike themselves showing honor and the pride. That's one of the most important things as a samurai, okay? And Yasuke, so Yasuke was working for Oda Nobunaga, this guy. This is true, according to the evidence. And when Nobunaga was defeated, Nobunaga committed harakiri because samurai show their pride and honor. They mm. enlighten themselves rather than they get killed by others. You know, okay. that's a samurai. So Yasuke, when Nobunaga was defeated, Yasuke didn't do harakiri or set proof. Yasuke escaped. So Kori, Yasuke, uh, are you saying like he calling your skills as that? Holy crap! Holy crap! So you're saying that Yasuke just ran away though? Damn, homie! It's really, really disrespecting other samurai at that time who commit harakiri. You know? And then who are you? <laughs> Do you know anything about Japanese culture? <laughs> really? And what we? This is crazy. Okay, before we get into this one, I gotta show you this. I like seeing more and more Japanese YouTubers speak up for this because yeah. it really does put Ubisoft in its place. Uh, this is the video I'm speaking of right here. Great video, 26 minutes long. Uh, they are the director for Star yeah, Fox for, and- Yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Uh, the art director for Star Fox and Legend of Zelda is not uh -oh. a fan of Ubisoft's portrayal of Yusuke uh -oh. and Assassin's Creed Shadows. And Ubi stands keep telling you that the Japanese outrage is fake and just racist. Yeah. Not fake, it's quite real. Uh, they don't like their culture and history being disrespected like this. And what's funny is Ubisoft is basically doing cultural appropriation. And none of these virtuous, woke people care. In fact, they encourage it and push it and act like everybody's crazy for criticizing it. It's, it's wild to see. It's, it's hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, I had to like unmute the gameplay here because uh, this is also getting memed on right now. Now listen, the hip hop music, uh, the beat is kind of fire on its own, but it's like holy crap though. Your stereotype in the black homies like that, man. Where my where my BBC brothers at though? I'm brown. I also have a BBC. That's a compliment, okay? I'd be having a BBC is good, but but like damn, bro, like they are like stereotyping the living crap out of them with this situation. They'll stereotype them. With something good like BBC though, BBC is good to have, man. Like I have BBC too though, but but this is insane, man. Like holy crap! But uh, but other than that, the beat is fire. But it's I hilarious. My lungs and a blade in my hand. Blade in my hand. <laughs> holy man, this is crazy, bro. Your blood. You have Damn. Ding, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they got that. Otherwise, the beat's kind of fire, though. Loki kind of fire, though. Loki kind of fire. Though. See, Bruh. in full display. Uh, but it's it's just funny to see. This is a high up guy. This the art director for Zelda. <laughs> That's a big deal. Uh, here is his account translated. 
Uh, he retired from Nintendo in 2021. He is a professor at Osaka International College of Technology. He is an act he's also active as a freelancer and has been in okay. charge of art direction for Star Fox, F Zero, and the Legend of Zelda series. In November 2022, he released the manga Omega Six in France. The game will be released for Switch this summer. More details on his profile, please see. So he's not anymore, but he was for okay. a long time. I'm going to assume. Uh, but this is what he had to say. I also have problem with the part about Yubi being true to history and am yeah. tolerant of everything else, but maybe creators in this day and age are not very conscious of it. And he then goes on to say that he was fine with him in this other game. I know he was in some other game. I forget what it was, but he's in some other video game. And yeah, nobody cared, but they weren't trying to push this game off as some kind of true to history thing. That's what they're doing with uh, Shadows. They were trying to go around and push this as a true historical yeah, game real. really happened. And they were going around and changing the Wikipedia, trying Crazy. to make the Wikipedia reflect the video game's narrative, <laughs> which is really weird. People were doing like edit wars on that for a while. It was that yeah, was interesting. Yeah, it was wild. It was wild, yeah. Uh, he says that he's okay with the Yuski thing. His problem is the historical, uh, that this is true historical fiction. And that, I think, is fair. They shouldn't be trying to push this game as fact, like this is true history. And that's what's going on here. But them trying to act like this is not causing any kind of problems in Japan is laughable. Uh, clearly, it is causing some issues. This game is going to sell like shit there. It's going to be funny to see it fail in Japan. <laughs> now, I, I won't make that call this early, though. You never know, right? Because right now, there are a lot of eyes on this game. This drama is getting bigger and bitter, bi bigger, and bigger, and a lot more people are not talking about it. It's going to be interesting to see the sales, but you guys got to understand that, like, Assassin's Creed is big, though. It's a big franchise. It has been around for years, decades, so people know about this franchise. People love this franchise, despite, like... And, and you guys got to understand that gamers are the most chill people ever. Yeah, gamers do talk crap. Gamers do get angry gamers do uh like you know let everything they have in mind they let everything out absolutely but you guys gotta understand that how many times you see i'm gonna bring the simple example bro how many times you see people trashing call of duty but they still buy it though how many times you see people trashing call of duty for sometimes uh for the right reasons, sometimes not for the right reasons, but but yeah, generally speaking, right? The Call of Duty community trash in Call of Duty, but the game turns out to be the best selling game every single year. So point that I'm trying to make here is that gamers, sometimes they're just all talk. Yeah, sadly though. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how this game turns out now make no mistake though the game is also does not look that good objectively speaking i'm not even talking about like the woke politics or them destroying their history or not right N just forget about the drama as well in a nutshell the game doesn't look that good though right uh and uh the suicide squad game is also another prime example yeah it was a woke ass trash but also the game sucked massive d as well so the game was also trash to begin with so that's why it didn't sell too well and on top you add the spice the special uh, special ingredient of woke in it oh uh, yeah it's like a fuel uh, it's an extra like uh, you're 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 throwing fuel on the fire after that right you're pouring gasoline on the fire so of course that's why it did not sell well but the game wasn't good to begin with uh, that's another uh, that's another factor too this time it's gonna be interesting to check this the uh the, the writing team has imagined uh based on uh these uh history Historical figures and events. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah. If that's so, stop saying historical fiction. It's fantasy, okay? It's a final fantasy. If they say if this is fantasy, 100% like inaccurate, historically incorrect, we don't get mad. We are not very okay, but we don't get mad. Uh, that uh, we've learned about working with our researchers and, and uh, historians and consultants. Who, what kind of historians, historian and consultants they hired? So, uh... Stop. This is Suzuki, the plants, they're gonna be like this in like uh, September and then October. Okay. Okay. And this oh, is damn, Sakura, oh. which is April. The <laughs> historians <laughs> and the researchers. Yo, you dead ass right now. No way. <laughs> This guy is more of a history buff. I mean, uh, he probably lives in Japan, so he likely knows his crap, right? With the yeah, and they got that wrong as well, nah, man. Say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God, bro. Who can't tell any season difference, which is very important in Japan. What kind of history are they? So actually, very little is known about Yasuke, um, which is. This is so arrogant. If they don't know, don't do yeah. it. Yeah. Really, I mean. If Japanese are doing that things, it's good. Like it's like a novel, like it might happen, like a fiction. It's fun. 
and there's a respect. I don't see, I don't find any respect for Japanese culture. And also their response is really horrible. So there's an interview for Famitsu from Ubisoft. They're speaking about why they decided to use Yasuke Samurai as a main character. They're saying, we are first looking for someone who could be our samurai. In other words, someone who could become our eyes despite not being Japanese. <laughs> really? They say that. And after that part went to viral in X, they deleted it. Yeah, but, Bumblebutt. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again. This is racist as <laughs> We are first looking for someone who could be our samurai. In other words, someone who could become our eyes despite not being Japanese. Damn, but, homie. If Damn, you believe homie. racism is bad things, and then if you don't see racism in this video game, and this Ubisoft interview and their response, you are racist, really. And very hypocritical. This is insane. And then, and the Ubisoft CEO, and is saying, why does play backlash against Assassin's Creed Shadows? Yeah. Calling it. Yeah, this happened the other day. This is why I was saying in the very beginning of the video, they are getting humble right now. They were saying gamers are toxic, and in his own words, uh, he has denounced the widespread of backlash against Assassin's Creed and calling it malicious and hateful and all that and he's basically calling out the toxic gamers, the problematic gamers and yeah, so they're, they want to denounce all of us, right, that they have a hey, hey, how, dare, hey, 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 how dare you have a problem with it, right, like it, crazy, man. Malicious and hateful saying Japanese, you shut up racist, <laughs> so arrogant, <laughs> this is really happening Really. So they messed up Japanese culture and history mm. and they made it video game. And the Japanese people are not happy about it. Yeah. And they raise their voice. And their response is that what we are saying is hateful. malicious and hateful. Yeah. And here, here, saying extensive controversy due to its protagonist, African samurai, Yasuke and the female Japanese snobby now. They're calling us as if like we are racist and sexist. It's not. Okay. Yeah, don't use the idea of black as a shield. Ubisoft. Yeah, so they are really using uh, black people as shield in this one, man. Like, uh, and I, I've seen like I got a lot of the black homies watching these videos as well, man. I got a lot of you black homies sub uh, subbed as well, and, and yeah, a lot of you are also waking up. And I, I, I've been reading your guys' comments as well. And uh, yeah, man, we we need to all come together, all, all of us, okay, collectively, white, purple, brown, uh, black. Uh, uh, Japanese, Asian, whether you have a BBC or not a BBC. If you don't have a BBC, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Right. Right? Like, I, I have a BBC too myself. You know, very, very um, glad to have it. Very blessed to have a BBC myself. So, yeah, if you have LBCs, uh, BWC or LWC, right? Like, BAC maybe or LAC, right? Like, whatever you got. Right. Uh, men or men of all cultures. We need to come together and we need to talk about this one. Yeah, Ubisoft needs to get humble, man. They need to get humble. And check out this video on the screen because recently they also are going crazy at PewDiePie as well. Yeah, even PewDiePie is not safe right now. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.